Okay, so a very interesting thing happened with our tank today. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a novice here. I'm new at this. And I'm just learning about fish. I'm learning about frogs. Spending a lot of time on the YouTube community. Um, learning a ton uh, from uh, the King of DIY and from Taylor. Thank you both. I want to I wanna thank you for um helping me understand some things and uh got to give a shout out to bama bass too but what i noticed this morning because i'm watching everything so closely right now being so new to this is i saw a strange color show up on our zebra fish so um welcome to our tank we have two zebra fish here stripy and swimmy named by my six-year-old and then we have two african dwarf frogs here as well and those guys are named hoppy and croaker and uh those guys are um they're the ones i was most concerned about and they're the reason i've been watching the tank so closely uh, because i've been reading so much conflicting information about african dwarf frogs but today i'm sitting there and i'm watching uh stripey and swimmy and I just realized there's all of a sudden something's a little bit weird about our zebra fish. Um, and I, I'm assuming he's the male. Uh, and he looks kind he looked kind of orange to me. So what do I do? Immediately Google. Oh no, what's going on with our zebra fish? What's wrong with them? And it turns out this is actually a normal thing um, when they are ready to spawn and when they're mating. Um, but it's what's abnormal is that you don't normally get to see, and it's not normally uh, observable to the naked eye when a uh, zebrafish changes color for mating purposes. So I thought that was super cool and thought, uh, you know what, for our first video, um, how cool would it be to share with you guys this unique phenomenon? Because when we got these guys, they were the same color. But now you can see, I hope it shows up in the video as well as it does to the naked eye, that one of these guys is actually uh, a, a much, and you can see that they're doing like uh, almost like mating dances here. Um, but they're really, uh, some really great schooling action. And you know, I, I've started to learn about caring for our fish and water changes and all those kind of things. Um, and those uh, things seem to be, really making uh, a good home for them because they seem to be more comfortable. This certainly wouldn't be happening if they weren't comfortable in their environment. So again, a uh, big shout out to all my fellow YouTube aquarists um, and shout out to my friend who gave us this tank um, and kind of ignited this interest here for me. Um, we had the dwarf frogs before and the fish actually, and they were in a very, very small tank um and so this somebody one of my uh friends uh, was moving and she told me hey i i need somebody to take this tank out of my house for me um they're going to a condo while they while they build their new house and they just don't have room for a lot of this stuff and don't want to stick it in storage so i volunteered and said yeah i'll take it uh, there was actually a fish supposed to be with it, but that's another story for another video, and I'll tell you all about that at another time. But um, thank you for watching, and please, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and please share this video. Get the word out. I'm going to be posting these videos uh, intermittently. Hey, there's our dwarf buddy. Which one is that, Philip? Is that Hoppy or Croaker? Uh, where? The one on the dragon right there under the on tree. The dragon? Uh under the oh that's croaker that's croaker that's my son philip he is uh he's able to identify these guys um much better than i am but uh hopefully you all will be able to um, identify them to us as well and if you have questions about african dwarf frogs or about zebra fish um, this is really our first project and our first foray into the aquarium world so please ask uh ask away in the comments below and again like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching